Hello everyone, today I will go through an update of create dependencies. A while ago I created a plot program to show a 2D plot of values in real time and it was intended for a heart sensor. Since I created it, uh, the versions that are used uh, by this uh, program have changed and uh, I will go through updating uh, each and every one of them. So first of all, let's see how this uh, runs. So if I run help, I see a nice colorful help option. I also see a typo, I copy and paste, I say window size and name of the person to grade, which is obviously wrong for an example. And the other thing I can do is uh, I create a test program that feeds it uh, stock, like fake data, to get somehow a uh, graph that looks real. And you can see that it zooms in and it zooms out. And uh, once it uh, reaches 1000, I expect it to scroll uh, from uh, right towards the left, the same like a regular plot uh, for uh, heartbeat data. Great, so let's go through updating it. First, I will use Visual Studio Code because it has nice plugins to show me the versions. Uh, if I don't know exactly what version to use, let's say if I pick tracing here, I can do cargo search. Cargo search tracing, and it will find that the latest version is 0 0.1.36. So uh, it's the same uh, version that is shown here in the dropdown. So I can click on it and I can click on the other ones and I will update so far, I will update tracing, tracing subscriber and uh, clap. Clap, I can see that I updated from version three to four. So I expect some differences, uh, but luckily it just compiles. So if I run uh, cargo run help, it will take a bit to compile. And notice this time that the output is not colorful anymore. This is one of the changes from uh, CLAP 3 to version 4. They said less colors and it's a little bit more compact. Uh, let's uh, also change the typo here. There's no name of a person to create. So I'll change that comment somewhere in here. So this will be look behind window size. Perfect. So now the bigger update that's a bit more complex. Uh, let's update uh, eGUI and eFrame. And at this point, there will be compile failures because API uh, did change apparently. So I'll go first in measurement.rs. Uh, it will take a while for us and to go through it, but if I do cargo build, you'll see that I get some sort of error. See, build failed, uh, also private module and so on. So what I will do, I'll go through the files one by one. So first of all, it says it doesn't know what plot value is from the create uh, eGUI. So the first thing I will do is let's find out what that is. So Let's search for documentation from uh, eGUI, and I think here I will search for plot. And I look through here, maybe not in this class, let's see here, and I see that uh, out of many things I see there are plot point and plot points, which seems reasonable to what the values used to be, so let's replace value uh, with plot point. and it probably still won't compile. I replaced everything. And now let's go to main. When I was doing main, uh, I no noticed that we implement uh, API uh, app. However, when I was looking through the documentation and, and finding out uh, API changes at some point in architecture.md, one of the latest uh, change requests was Let's remove eGUI web and API. And I, I thought to myself, well, it's not good that I'm using it if they just removed it from uh, the documentation a little bit. So what I will do, I will stop using this. So let's uh, let's not use API at all. And let's convert this to an eGUI application. So in order to do that, I will need to read documentation. And um, let's search for eGUI documentation. Generally, it says that uh, there's, a, there's a template and uh, we might as well use the template, learn from it. Inside the source, there's a main, let's see how main runs. So uh, main runs uh, with native options and it gives some arguments. So it uh, gives a title apparently, some options, and then it creates all this stuff. So let me copy it and change it uh, from what I had here. Native options, uh, this will be, I don't know, plot app. And I don't have a template, so let's remove this bit. And what I had before is I have a box new app. Might as well use this. 
I am not using the creation contact, so I'll use underscore. So in theory, this should compile, except it doesn't know what this uh, API app is. So let's uh, go back to the template. Let's see what an app is. So an app, app is an eframe app, and it has save and update. Let me do that thing. So I will not have setup, I will not have name. It has save and update. And uh, if I use, uh, if I look at the interface for save and update, I see storage is from eframe. I see that the context is from eGUI and the frame is from eFrame. Uh, feature persistence not enabled, so probably doesn't that doesn't matter. So this was eGUI context, I think. And this was eFrame frame. Let's see if I have any other errors. eGUI app doesn't know what it is. Oh, it's eFrame app. Fair enough. And it does, why doesn't it like this? Oh, it should be mutable. Perfect. And why doesn't it like this thing? Line uh, is, uh, should be plot points and plot values, it returns a plot point, a single one. I don't like that. This should be plot points. Oh, it doesn't know what from value iterator is. Uh, let's look at uh, plot points. So plot points can be created from many things and it's an enum. It could be a known vector or a generator. Let's just create a known uh, vector and see if that works. So what I would need to do is owned and from here I, I want to create a vector. From an iterator and I will use the iterator that I had before. Let's see if this compiles. Not really. Oh, because I didn't write this correctly. Okay, now it compiles, I think. Let's, uh, let's run it. And as you can see, all the functionality is preserved. I don't see any differences really. And uh, if I look at uh, the latest version, I updated CLAP, I updated eFrame, eGUI, tracing, everything is up to date and the program still works. This was easy enough. Thank you. I hope you find this video useful or interesting or maybe both. Have a great day.